Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Pablo Sarabia card to review today. So we're taking a look at a card that is five foot nine, high medium work rates, left footed, which is nice because I just love using left footed players. I don't know why. Uh, four star skill almost and a four star weak foot. In regards to his actual traits, he does have the outside foot shot trait, which is actually very helpful if he cuts to the right side and he wants to shoot with his left foot to the right side for the near post angle. So pretty cool in regards to that. Doesn't have the finesse shot trait, which is definitely a shame, but regardless, still looks like a pretty cool card to use for the Spanish PSG links and all that fun stuff. In regards to his in games, he's got 88 acceleration with 90 sprint speed. So it is something that you can improve with the um, engine chemistry style. His shooting's at 99 attacking positioning with 94 shot power and 92 sh uh, 90, 92 shot power with 94 finishing and 93 long shots with an 84 for composure so with psg uh you're kind of hopeful in regards to them going into the next round because if they do this card could get significantly improved in the base card stats for shooting dribbling and all that fun stuff right because composure on 84 is kind of low nowadays so improving that as much as possible would be definitely very ideal if you guys complete this spc apparently they give you like an icon kit for fifa 21 so because i've done the spc on my main account we'll see if we get that for next year's game um but yeah, shooting stats are the way that they are. Passing for this card is already pretty good for base card stats. But the reason why I gave him the engine chemistry style is obviously because of the boost that he needs for pace and dribbling, right? So with dribbling, you're boosting his agility by a plus five, balance by a plus eight with 84 composure already. But you do need to boost the reactions, ball control, and dribbling as well with the card. Uh, in regards to defending, he actually has some sort of defensive awareness, which is nice because, you know, if you're playing him... In the cam position, playing in a 4-2-3-1 or anything like that, it's definitely ideal to have a player like this that, you know, has decent defensive capabilities because he can intercept the ball while being a 5'9 player, which isn't crazy, but definitely usable. Um, and then physical, he does have 76 strength with 94 stamina. So um, in regards to how I think this card is going to play, I think his dribbling is not going to be crazy, but I think it's going to be pretty decent because he's a 5'9 player. But we'll see, man. We always have to test all these cards in game, right? So the way that we are going to be lined up, in game is going to be the same usual formation that we normally use, which is the 4231 basic instructions. Uh, we're going to have Bakayoko chilling over here, Raul up top, Ferland Mendy's got a switch, Pablo Sarabi is going to be playing through the middle. Now, I do potentially see him being a good player to be used on the sides, but Pablo Sarabi, I feel like his natural characteristic is going to be playing him in the cam position. But we're going to see, obviously, right? Uh, reason why I say that though is because. You know, Bernardo Silva has like a um, attacking AI thing where he just loves to cut inside and make those runs. Uh, I'm not sure if Pablo Sarabia will be the same in regards to that, right? Um, these guys are all going to be on comeback and defense. That's how we're going to be trying out the team. With Pablo Sarabia's work rates and all that fun stuff, it should be very interesting to try out. I don't need cut pass lanes for Lauren Blanc, just for Bakayoko. Um, so yeah, we'll go into a game, see how he plays. Hopefully he's a good player. Bernardo Silva on 7 chemistry is not bad, so... Uh, yeah, let's get into a game, see how he plays. Oh, this guy's actually using the Team of the Year nominee players. Cool. It's fun to try out the players, you know? Team of the Years and Stiffs. Cool car design as well. Okay, so we'll switch to our defensive tactics over here, which is the 4-2-3-1. Let's see how the man plays. Oh, okay, so he kind of comes close. Does do a little bit of emphasis right there, but that could be gameplay as well. Oh, starts to make that run right there. Let's do a near post strike right here. Nice. Really good attacking AI. So the base card stats of 99 attacking positioning for Pablo Sarabia's card, very, very noticeable. He understands that he needed to be aggressive there. The engine chemistry style boost while giving him the plus five acceleration sprint speed is very, very nice. That was actually very good. I, that's why I always tell you guys, man, the base card stats is always the most uh, noticeable for cards, right? Yep. Decent defensive capabilities to get into situations where he can actually get the ball back there. Pretty decent. I like the way that he kind of like drops back as a cam. Like he's doing that pretty often, right? Like his positioning is pretty awesome in regards to uh, actually pushing forward on the attack, you know? 
Oh, without me even controlling him there, he actually did a good job defensively. His skill must come off pretty nicely once I touch the ball with him. It's not bad at all. Okay, so he rotates with the striker, sticks in his position. Does he go back into position quickly? No, he's still he's playing off of Raul right now. Okay, that's pretty cool. Near post angle right there. Ah, oh, too much power. I wanted to try a first time shot from that angle because his base card stats for shot power and finishing is not bad. So you kind of have to get the power right for you to really hit that consistently in that area. Yeah, it makes the aggressive run. Okay. Gives me that space over here on the side. That's the angle we look for. Uh, the lower rated players, they don't have like crazy shot power. That's where shot power, composure, all that good stuff is very important to hit those really good strikes in those areas. Dribble quickly to get into the right spots. Ah, uh, it runs in a straight line right there. That kind of sucks. I, I, I do want my players to understand that they have to fix their run and respond well to my dribble, right? So if I dribble in a certain direction, I like the players that understand right away that they have to switch their run. I am noticing on three different occasions that Pablo Sarabia, once he starts to make that consistent run, uh, it is very linear. Like, he won't change his... Uh, trajectory if that makes sense right there are players that would change a trajectory those guys are freaking awesome to have in your team if you want to attack a certain way right i can tell you guys that this right now you know he's a player that's definitely that definitely can be usable on the sides for sure but the thing about using this card is that he does feel mostly like a cam you know like he feels like a cam or like a center forward uh you know if you're playing like a 4-3-3 false nine and you want to use him in the center forward position on balance instructions um i feel like he would do a pretty decent job um the only thing that i'm not liking with this card is that again with those runs he doesn't change his mind and occupy the empty space instantly even though he has 99 attacking positioning and high medium work rates that's what i'm saying like base characteristics um a player that has good attacking AI will understand, okay, this run makes no sense. I need to now change it, right? Like you guys have seen the reviews before with uh, some of the attackers and some people that I've tried to actually do that, but it doesn't seem like Sarabia is doing that constantly. And if he does, it could be like an 80, 20% where 80% of the times so he'll just make the linear run. And then 20% of the times so he'll probably, he might make it from time to time, you know? So that right there is what I'm talking about. So you kind of want to take the specific touches and get the outside foot shot traits, right? Because he's a left-footed player, you kind of have to play off of that a little bit. Like if I were to go for the finesse shot with his four-star weak foot, I probably wouldn't have scored that opportunity, even though it would be nice to be able to, right? So that's where the trait is very, very useful in, in situations like that. Those aren't really the outside foot shot traits you take most of the time. It's mostly when you start to cut inside that you actually start to utilize it more. Um, but again, a situation like that was actually very helpful for him to score that opportunity. Hmm. Always strange when you can't just make like regular passes. It would be super nice if you could. And we get a rage quit. Nice. All right, guys, so final verdict on the Sarabia card is that it is a usable version of himself, right? So it's um, basically like when I reviewed Anzu Fati, I said the exact same thing. So with this card, if you were to give him an engine chemistry style, I feel like he actually plays in a usable manner in your team, right? You're giving him the pace boost with the plus five for acceleration, plus five for sprint speed. I think his shooting stats for base card stats are already pretty good. I do think that this card needs to be upgraded by at least one time because I'm not sure exactly how significant the upgrades are going to be, but I feel like his base card stats for dribbling, for uh, pace, for shooting, if those were to be increased by, I would say a plus three at the very least for some of those stats, uh, you would be looking at a pretty decent card, right? 
right? Um, it is very strange though, because his attacking positioning is pretty nice. He'll definitely utilize empty space if he sees it. I just don't like that he doesn't uh, play off of my dribbles and understand, hey, maybe I should make this angled run in this direction. But sometimes um, that is genuinely personal preference because when a player starts to do that what you have to do is just run into that empty space that they're not utilizing that's what they kind of want you to do um it's not a personal preference of mine i prefer for them to understand hey i need to make that angled run into this area instead of this one that's what i would personally prefer right um i do think that the engine chemistry style definitely helped out the card i do think that the card plays to his base characteristics for dribbling so his base card stats whether it's this one over here or this one he still definitely feels like that in game um his shooting with his left foot's pretty awesome the outside foot shot straight will be very helpful for a situation where i showed you guys how i scored with him and when he does that same exact area but it's when he cuts inside so he kind of does like a 90 degree angle cut inside and he can kind of just shoot with his uh left foot in that area because he does have the 92 shot power uh passing stats on this card are pretty good so it's not something that you necessarily need to improve. Um, again, I think that if he gets the base card stats to be improved, you could potentially use like a different chemistry style. And I feel like the card would feel significantly better. But uh, for those of you that are making like, kind of like a Spanish team, PSG, uh, whatever it is, maybe even League One, it's a cool card to have in your team for the fun aspect. Not necessarily for the meta. It would be cool if there was different game modes in this game to be able to use this card in the team. Because again, it is an incredibly usable version of his card. So... Hopefully you guys enjoy this review. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.